A confined space is a space which is substantially, though not always entirely, enclosed and presents one or more specified risks. Dangers can arise in confined spaces because of the following issues. A lack of oxygen. Poisonous gas, fume or vapour. Liquids and solids which can suddenly fill the space or release gases into it when disturbed. Fire and explosions, e.g. from flammable vapours, excess oxygen, etc. Residues left in tanks, vessels, etc or remaining on internal surfaces which can give off gas, fume or vapour. Dust present in high concentrations, e.g. in flour silos, and hot conditions leading to a dangerous increase in body temperature. Some of the above conditions may already be present in the confined space, however, some may arise from the work being carried out or because of ineffective isolation of plant nearby, e.g leakage from a pipe connected to the confined space. Examples of confined spaces include ducts, culverts, tunnels, boreholes, board piles, manholes, shafts, excavations and trenches, sumps, inspection and under machine pits, freight containers, ballast tanks, ships, engine rooms and cargo holds, buildings, building voids and some enclosed rooms, particularly plant rooms and compartments within them, and interiors of machines, plant or vehicles. As for all work activities, a suitable and sufficient risk assessment must be made of all works to be undertaken within the confined space. If the risk assessment identifies any risk of serious injury from work in confined spaces, such as those highlighted above, the following steps must be taken. Avoid entry to confined spaces, e.g. by doing the work from outside. If entry to a confined space is unavoidable, follow a safe system of work and put in place adequate emergency arrangements before the work starts.